Hi guys, um, today's little video is about the SV Bony Red Dot Finders. Now I've bought one, a cheap plastic one, some months ago and it's not exactly faulty but um, it doesn't quite do what it's supposed to. So I have now bought another one uh, from the same company which I've bought stuff from before and really it's quite good, I'm quite pleased with their products. And this time I bought a um, machined aluminium, anodized aluminium uh, red dot finder. And um, we shall go ahead now and do the unpacking. And I'll give you some sort of a comparison. So, here we go. Enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Well, this is my cheap um, red dot finder by SV Boney. Um, it's all plastic. Fraction under $12. Um, that's all the adjustments there. Uh, no problem at all, nice and lightweight. The problem is, or the only problem I've had, is that sometimes uh, if I turn it off and on, the red dot fails to appear or it appears only very brightly so there's no adjustment on the uh, luminance or the luminosity of the red dot, uh, which is a bit of a nuisance really because uh, if it's trying to sort of get hold of, say, um, Saturn or Jupiter, you, the, the power of the dot blitzes out the actual planet, so it's a bit of a bee. Anyway, not to worry, we carried on with it and it's okay. But because it's uh, not faulty, but it's because it's not quite up to par, that's the reason I bought the, um, the all-metal uh, red dot finder, which I am now going to show you the unpacking, okay? Well, this is a package I got from China via Singapore for some reason. Um, anyway, eBay, I got both of these products from eBay. Now, uh, I'm pleased with this, it came far quicker than anticipated. I think it only took about seven or eight days, which I'm well pleased with. And it's beautifully packed. Here we are. Obviously, I've uh, already opened this product. Now then, let's have a look. A stout box with the actual finder in. Now here we have lens cloth, destructions, 3 volt battery, <coughs> uh, some of the old um, silicon gel to prevent moisture, which is a which I find absolutely great. Let's put those out of the way a moment. Now then, now this is the actual main product and it is solid. It is lovely, it, it feels good, it, it's, if I can get, this is the only bit of plastic, it's this plastic hood. There we are. Now, it's beautifully machined, it's beautifully finished. Everything is there. And um, these are all the reticule settings you can have, all bits and bobs, there's all sorts on there. I haven't sorted it out yet, but um, it certainly looks the business. Very pleased with it. Have to excuse my voice, I've got a bit of a throat infection. There's that, <coughs> excuse me. And we have a little screwdriver and uh, an Allen key for uh, uh, adjustments. So we will put that here like so, pop that in there like so out of the way before it blows away. And now we'll inspect what else we have here. Um, oh, it's all lovely, beautifully packed, you know. Ah, here we go. Reluctant to come out of the packet. <coughs> now this is a 20 milli millimeter um, wedge, and that fits virtually all uh, Skywatch, uh, Celestron, etc. Uh, telescopes. And this, these two Allen keys undo, and this slides into here like so. No, I'm not going to set it up as such uh, yet. Okay. I've got to stop here a moment because I've got to have a cough. 
Then here we have a, an extra uh, plate which can be screwed onto your telescope tube. I presume that's what it's for anyway. Or it could be screwed anywhere, I suppose. <laughs> and there we are. That can slide in and out of there like that. And that is on there like that, and that is it. That is the product. But like I said, I'm not going to set it all up now. And I'll just give you an idea of what's in the box. But it is very, very good. It feels first class. $40, uh, well, one cent under $40, thirty nine ninety nine, And I'm itching to play with it. But I won't yet, all, all the while the plastic one's working. I shall leave that in situ, but eventually I shall put this on the scope and use the plastic one for my uh, camera. I think that's the, that's the way I should go. Anyway, from what I've seen so far, guys, it looks absolutely great. Um, I will perhaps later on put the battery in, rig it all up just to show you, okay? Well this is what we have in the package, um, pretty good really for the money, I mean I know uh, $40 is probably seems quite a lot to a lot of people but for me to get this in Thailand it's really it's cheap it, it's okay for me right now then we have the main item which is the red dot finder now this I don't, I don't know if I'm in focus here or not but on the top knob here we can do red or green dot it's a it, choice is up to you and it goes from one to five that's the, the uh, graduations now if we undo this here like so this little cap at the top with a slot for a coin we see the battery compartment now this <laughs> this product already had the battery in it which I think is flat and it has a, 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 a a new battery as well so I'm not sure about that whether it's been sent back by somebody or whatever but the packaging when it came all seemed perfectly okay it all appeared to be new right it's not going to go on now I want it to oh there we go right no it's not there we are I've got there at last now then at the top here you will see a, uh, I think in America you call it a grub screw, we call it an Allen screw and it's a hexagonal thingy like this which fits in there and it, that adjusts the elevation so you turn that clockwise or anti-clockwise or what do you say in, in America? Counterclockwise or yeah whatever, you will say things differently over there. So that controls the elevation and on the side here this uh, allen screw or this rub screw controls the, um, the the horizontal plane so you can go sort of left and right with that one right now at the back here we have four settings You've got a, this is for your, your reticle. You've got a crosshair, a dot, uh, a target, and a crosshair and dot. So I guess that's, um, you know, that pretty well covers everything. Right, now if we ease these two grub screws, Allen screws, um, we can ease the wedge in. Like so. Now this scrub screw goes right the way across, presumably to stop uh, the wedge from sliding. So we can tighten those up, I'll just do it very very quickly, very very loose, just to show you, right, that's it. Now that can be mounted directly onto your telescope. Uh, Celestron, uh, Orion and um, Skywatcher does all of those. But without this additional bracket here, it can be used as a, 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 a site 
for a gun because apparently it, it, it does its dual purpose but I don't know about guns I hate guns I think they're horrible things but that's me and also included <coughs> is this bracket which presumably with the four slots on you can uh, screw onto your your um, uh, tube um, and have an additional wedge effect so we can unscrew those so if you imagine that's on your um, your tube I would try again if you imagine that's on your tube you slide that in like so and there you can have the red dot finder uh, I've missed the you can have the red dot finder and your guide scope or um, finder scope alongside of it so with this attachment it, it can be dual purpose so for the money 40 US I think it's great there we are I presume that positive is on the top I presume that if you tighten it down more it comes on I really don't know about that that's something I'll have to play with <coughs> right I found out how to turn it on and that's what you do what I had, I had I had the setting too low I had it on one or two and of course it's brilliant sunshine here at the moment and in the tropics so it's not showing on the screen so I put it boosted it to five and I get my little red um, cross here in the center Well, thank you a lot for watching this video. Um, if it's of any interest to you, perhaps you'd like to visit my YouTube channel and maybe leave a comment, a like or a um, subscription. Anyway, there are many, many more um, videos on my channel, so perhaps I may have used you. Thanks for watching. Bye.